So this is the Tommy Tippy Twist and Click Nappy Bin. Let me tell you all about it. Firstly, we have the instructions on the top so you know exactly what you do, which is quite handy. So to set it up, we're gonna press the buttons on either side and take the lid off. There isn't a hinge, so it just comes off completely. And then we're gonna open up the top bit. We have our bin bag on the inside, so we're gonna just push it through. And then here, try not to trap your fingers, we're gonna turn it, o turn it over and then we're gonna knot the bottom bit. I like to go for a double knot. Any nappy situation requires a double knot. Then when you're done, there's a little hook on the bottom here. So this one's a hook, this one's scissors. So you're gonna hook it, the knot in here, just like that. And then that's gonna keep it in place and then you're good to go. So the lid only goes one way round. So make sure the lid is the correct way round. We're then gonna make sure the tabs are on the inside and then we're gonna click it down and hopefully it's in place and we are ready to go. So with it being twist and click, when you use it, you open up the lid and then you've now got your bag in there. We're gonna grab a nappy and pop it in. So from there, we're gonna use this little bit here to twist it. So we're gonna twist until it clicks, so that's there. And you can see it's twisted all the way in the middle here as well, and then you can close it. When you filled the bin up, there's a bit of resistance, so you know you're kind of coming towards the end, or you run out of the plastic on the inside, so we're gonna change it. Now to change it, again, you press the buttons on the inside and you're gonna lift the lid off carefully. This bit is where it stinks, I'm not gonna lie. When it, the lid is closed, it smells like two out of 10. When you take this off, try not to breathe if you can. Oh my goodness, it smells disgusting. There's no keeping the smells in here, but anywho, I digress. So to take it off, we're then gonna lift up here. Obviously you'd have more nappies in there than this, but I have just changed this one. So we pull the nappy through and you can see here that this is where it's twisted through and there would be quite a lot of nappies in there. So we're gonna take this bit over the little scissor bit. We're gonna push it down and cut it down and then it can come off there. So here then we need to do off our nappy bin again. And now you can see I had a twist in it before, but the twist comes out. Then we can do up the second knot here and then we are good to go again. And that is the basic function of this bin. There are some heavy cons here. So let's do pros. Pros for this one, I like the fact that it's got a little handle on the back here so that you can lift it up and kind of move it around to wherever you need to, to be able to change it. So I like that that is a function. Let's do cons. So cons of this one, it smells a little bit when you open the lid, but it smells so much when you change it. It's really surprising because the twists, I think, keep the smelling quite a lot, but then as soon as you take it out, it untwists and untwists and untwists and untwists. So you lose a lot of the bin liner as well as it's smelling. So that was quite that was quite a surprise. Now this bin we actually got for free. So for a free bin, I'm gonna happily accept it and move on. We got it free through the baby wish lists. So currently this bin with one refill set is $13.99. So actually a really good price for it. And like I said, we got it for free. So that was a very good price. So I'm looking at the refills now. The refills on Amazon are six packets for $28.99. So about five pounds each, which I think is quite expensive. So I think the refills are meant to last about size one, about one month. So five pounds every month for something. It's not too bad, but paying 13 or 14 pounds for a bin and then paying 60 pounds per year for a bin, for bin liners, for bin liners. That's just, that just seems too extreme. I feel like everything that says baby in front of it just gets their prices whacked really, really high. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. In terms of the function of this bin, I find it a little bit clunky because when you push the buttons in and lift the top off, it's not connected, which might seem really good, but then it means that you've got a lid in one hand and a really big, like nappy poo snake in the other hand and it's really hard to sort of wrestle the two so you have to put like the nappies down on the floor and then pull this through and then cut it off and then tie up the nappies on the floor and then tie up this one and then put it back so it's just a little bit more faffy than I feel like it should be and I always forget to loop this bit on but that is definitely use it error. The other thing that's a bit strange is that the bits that you've twisted all untwist as you take them out. So I feel like I'm playing a game, racing against the clock of pulling the nappies out and watching them slowly untwist, like mocking me because they know the smell's gonna come out. So you're there like trying to wrestle it and tie it up really, really quickly. And it's just, uh, it's not the experience that I'd expect from a nappy bin. As this was a free bin, I'm more than happy to pay the price of the free bin with a refill. This is the one that we're gonna use at work, so it's gonna stay at work, so we're still going to use it. I just think for a nappy bin, you don't wanna smell any nappies after the fact, and especially when you're changing them. 
if you want to give it a go, you can probably still get it for free on your baby wishlist on Amazon if there's nothing else that you want. So you might as well get it, try it, see if you like it. And if you don't like it, you can get something else because you haven't paid any money. And if you like it, then great. And all you need to do is buy your refills every so often. I think once again, I've told you all there is to know about this bin. It's wiped clean, it smells a little bit, and uh, it's a bin. So <laughs> I will see you in another video soon.